All right. Good morning to our Grow Buffalo business friends on this finally sunny day. <laughs> um, we'll give a couple of minutes for people to pop on, but uh, every Thursday we come on here at 10 o'clock, uh, except for last Thursday. Thank you so much, both of you, for your flexibility on this. Um, boy, I, it was funny. I was up in Wilson, New York, and weather was nuts power was out and uh, down here i don't think there was anything happening <laughs> so so appreciate your flexibility and glad to have you both here today uh, what we typically do with these is uh, we spotlight some of our premium members and learn more about their businesses and i've uh, got a special treat today because i've got some of nadine's photos to show and uh, then we'll talk about some upcoming events and spin the wheel for next week's member spotlights. So why don't we, let me just get to the right place here. Are other people here? Uh, what we're doing here, so we're here on Zoom, but we're streaming live onto the Facebook group, the Grow oh. Facebook group. So people will be able to see this live if they can jump on. Uh, the replay will be there for people to watch. We'll be sure to tag you both in there and provide your contact information. And then we also add these videos to our Grow YouTube channel. Uh, so anyone can watch them and find out more as well. And of course, you're welcome to use the videos if you want to, you know, cut out your part or something and use them on your own as well. If there's something in particular that you like. Okay. okay. All right. So um, Sally, hey, good to have you here too. Thank you for popping in. Um, so why don't we just jump right in? Um, I'd, I'd love to start learning more about uh, Nadine. We can see right away from the photograph in your background and your logo there, you do beautiful photography, but would you, would you share more about the specifics of your business and how you serve your clients? Sure, uh, well, I uh, call myself your photographer for life um, because I have been doing this for 25 years professionally and there's, really no area of photography that I haven't had experience in. So whether it be, um, you know, a newborn baby or milestone pictures through that first year, family photos, high school senior photos, um, you know, weddings, family and corporate events, uh, sports photography, product photography, advertising, content. Uh, there's, there's really nothing that I don't have experience with. So um, when I photograph a family, I like to work with them uh, ongoing for other things that they have coming up. Um, and I have, uh, from the beginning, photographing newborn babies, I'm anticipating some of those babies' weddings coming up, Aww. if that speaks to my age. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, high school seniors going into getting married, um, you know, families going into other events and things like that. So um, I do like to continue working with the families and be able to offer them services for whatever their photography needs would be. Um, one of the things that I really pride myself on is um, making it a, a fun and comfortable experience for all of my clients so that they can feel um, just very comfortable in front of the camera and uh, ultimately being able to uh, let their true personality show in their photos is very, very important to me. Um, you know, and I've had people comment on that um, a lot of times about, you know, how comfortable they felt and, um, you know, other people looking at their photos saying, oh my gosh, this is totally you. Um, so those are a couple of things that I really pride myself on. I do really enjoy the um, post-production aspect with retouching and uh, design, custom design work, um, designing wedding albums, making collages, especially for high school seniors, um, composites and things like that. Um, so Nadine Saviano Photography, your photographer for life. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And I want to take an opportunity to share, um, to share some of your photos. Uh, just give me a second here. Okay. 
So here we have some of your beautiful work and it shows the wide range, right? From the babies to the weddings to um, growing up here. I, I'm curious, do you, I mean, you do so many different types of photography. Oh, there's Eric Adams, one of our members. <laughs> do you have a particular um, favorite type of photography that you really enjoy doing? Uh, you know, since I started out on my own, um, you know, the majority of my career, I did work for other people's studios, whether it be managing or subcontracting. But uh, two and a half years ago, I broke out on my own. And since then, I've really discovered that my very favorite as high school seniors, um, second to that, I would think um, newborn babies. I love the newborn baby sessions. Um, but really, honestly, throughout all of the photography, I enjoy the variety. I enjoy being able to um, do different things on a regular basis. Uh, it keeps me uh, very interested. It keeps my creative juices flowing when I get to, you know, jump from one thing to another to another. And uh, it keeps the, the wheels turning and the creative juices flowing. Oh, that makes sense. My, my very favorite, I, I think, is high school seniors. Um, but, you know, weddings, I mean, I, I, I think I know the very best. Um, I've photographed well over 600 weddings in my career. And um, I know a wedding like the back of my hand. And um, so it's very comfortable for me, but I do like being outside my comfort zone as well. I love experimenting with things that I maybe haven't exactly done before and um, troubleshooting and figuring out the best way to handle the project. And uh, so I look forward to new challenges as well. Oh, oh and you can see the, like you said, people are being so natural in these photos. I mean, even the baby here who's crying <laughs> and a lot of beautiful outdoor shots. It looks like you've got Knox Farm over here maybe and down in Ellicottville by you where the ski hills are. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, and what's the best way to get a hold of you, Nadine? Uh, so I have a website, uh, www.nadinesavianophoto.com. There's a contact page on that website or my email, uh, direct email is info at nadinesavianophoto.com. And uh, I'm also available on Facebook and Instagram at Nadine Saviano Photo. Um, and so people can message me right through there as well. Ah, oh, great. They can see a lot more of your fabulous photos there. Yes. So I'll be sure after this call to uh, paste all of that information into the post so people have that contact information. So awesome. thank you, Nadine. It's thank great you. hearing about your work. And Stephen, now Stephen Letter of Ace Handyman Services, South Towns that also serves North Towns. <laughs> good to yeah, have you here. It's Thank you. It's good to be here and grow. Buffalo has been a huge part of my business success and um, can't thank you enough for allowing me to spotlight what we do here. Um, so uh, think of us as a, we're trying to revolutionize uh, the, con the contractor construction industry. So we, we strive to bring customer service, trans, trans, um, transparency with pricing and communication skills uh, to an industry that sorely needs it. Uh, so with us, you, you will uh, have a completely different experience than what you may have had with your general contractor in the past. So all the, w, all, all the employees are W-2, so we pay them uh, well above a living wage. We're leading the market in, in who we pay, which has allowed us to get the most talented craftsmen. They're all W-2, reimbursed for their gas mileage. Uh, they Half their medical benefits are paid, and they, we offer a 401k match and a cell phone stipend. So these are things that are not done in, uh, in the industry, which has allowed us uh, to grow from five technicians to 20 uh, in, in a matter of uh, uh, four and a half months. So um, wow. the, the, the way I view this is I want this to be, the vision for this is to be the Uber of home improvement. Uh, so we, our value proposition is we answer the phone when you call, we uh, show up when you ask us to, according to an appointment time, not an appointment window, an appointment time, and someone will show up on time and, and in uniform, um, and they're, they're vetted through um, our leadership team, um, and we're able to get a lot of talented individuals, so uh, two or three employees 
actually, yeah, three have dissolved their LLCs to join us. And uh, Buffalonians are, uh, although we do prefer to stay in the small to medium home repairs and no job is too small, uh, Buffalonians I'm finding are asking us to be a, fill the void of a general contractor, uh, which we're able to do because we're acquiring employees from Lehigh Construction, uh, folks who are um, you know, tired of doing the business side of things, but want to be artists. Uh, so uh, what you'll, we have a whole office admin team devoted to ensuring that you're communicated with throughout the process. And then it's a, you know, we, when we show up on time and in uniform, we have craftsmen who are excellent at what they do, but more importantly, they're kind, they're courteous, they're communicative, and they're, they're not going to leave that house until you're, you're completely satisfied and ready to give a five-star review. Uh, with us, we do take those reviews very personally, and it is five stars or nothing. I'm not here to say every customer has given us five stars, but my favorite customers are the ones that gave us three or four stars, and then we made it up to them by sending another technician out there to make it right. Uh, so with us, it, it truly is five stars or nothing. And um, th the same reasons people like taking Ubers is because there's predictability. You know who's coming to your house to pick you up or coming to the airport to pick you up. Uh, and, you, and you know there's accountability both ways um, in, in regards to, you know, so we incentivize our bonus structures based on how many five-star reviews people are getting, and which has allowed us in the past five months to vet uh, some of the ones who, um, who were, did not fit the culture. So now where we stand right now in month, uh, in month five and a half, six, is we have uh, our, our, our strength right now is the uh, amount of happy customers and repeat customers. Uh, thank you, Connie. Uh, we'll get you scheduled. And uh, our, our strength is our work culture. Uh, so we, we talk about uh, emotional intelligence in, in, in team meetings. We talk about customer service obsession. Uh, we talk about accountability. And it, ultimately, um, I've turned away plenty of candidates who had all the skill in the world, uh, but they were... Um, would, would say things that were, you know, off-putting uh, or they were disheveled in their appearance. Uh, so with us, you're going to get someone who shows up looking professional, acting professional, and will communicate with you through the entire process. So the, uh, the ideal, our bread and butter would be small to medium home repairs. Uh, we package our time, uh, since we're time and materials in four, four hour or eight hour blocks. But then again, we're also doing a lot of bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, and we're able to do that because of the skill we've attracted. Uh, so I, I, the vision for this is to be around 30 employees, 30 technicians by the summer, um, just to make sure we have admin support. Uh, we're scaling rapidly. So I guess my ask would be, uh, if you know anyone who's handy and is, an, is a kind, courteous human being, uh, they would be a good fit with us. Um, even if they have their own LLC, uh, many, they can keep that active and join us as a part-time capacity and, and, and with, with the, um, with the craftsmen we have, they appreciate that their leads are given to them. All they have to do is go be an artist. So uh, they don't have to do any of the business development side. They don't have to do any of the marketing, answer phone calls. It's inbound leads. And um, we have craftsmen making over 1200 to $1,400 a week right now. Um, so it's a, uh, I, the value proposition to the craftsman is that you will not find a place that you're better paid, uh, better treated, and, and more importantly, they're autonomous. Uh, so we're looking for people who um, can get their assignments, knock out the job, and, and, and really there's no foreman. Uh, we have a very flat structure. Uh, so it, it's really the, because, and the reason that we, we've structured it that way is the reviews always go a little something like this, like, uh, Chris and Meg were excellent. They communicated well, very kind, very courteous. They wore booties in my house. Oh, and by the way, they fixed the sink too. Um, so it, it, we've found that it's never about the actual work being performed. Obviously, you know, we're sending people with, who are highly skilled to do this, uh, but it's, it's usually that it's, with us, it's about the customer service experience. Uh, so uh, we, we don't want to, it's, 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 especially in these uh, Omicron times, it's odd to have someone over in your home that you haven't met yet. Uh, but with us, we're gonna make it very personal. And I have actually incentivized the bonuses um, that if, if the customer names the technician's name in the review, that's, what, that's counted towards their bonus. 
Uh, so, you know, I, I don't want to see it. the ACE technician that was sent over did a good job. That's not a review I like to see, even if it's five stars. I like to see the person. Um, so you'll get a call the night before going over the project, a text when we're on our way, and then everything is handled payment wise uh, in our app. So we're bringing technology, customer service experience, and trans, uh, transparency of pricing um, uh, to, to an industry that sorely needs it. Um, well, and I can certainly testify having experienced your, uh, I, I actually thought it was going to be a day of your workers, Megan and Peyton came up there and, and came far, I mean, you're, you guys are in the South Towns, they came all the way up to Lake Ontario and Wilson, <laughs> you know, so I know that was not a short drive either way. And we're so professional and fun. I mean, it was really nice having them around. They helped with all kinds of things. I actually added a couple of things to the list while they were there. Um, everything from hanging pictures to installing faucets to I was having back issues. They carried, you know, air conditioning units out to the garage. They did everything I asked. And I don't even know if the, half the things were included on what a typical handyman would do. But I, I really uh, appreciated that. And so I, I understand exactly what you're coming where you're coming from and that's exciting so your goal is 30 you're up to 20 so do you just have more work than you know what to do with right now uh yes we're getting about 40 to 45 calls a day whether or not we close on all of those is di a different story but um it's a well-known brand so this isn't steven's handyman service i'm a franchise owner for ace and eventually it's going to get to the point where uh, from one app customers can order parts and a technician uh, that's probably two three years away um, but um, that's where it's headed and and i'm really excited for that growth that's part of the reason i joined this company is because they they wanted franchisees who would network recruit and market and scale this thing because that's where it's headed it's, it's heading in a DoorDash uber eats um lift uber direction so um we, it's really cool to be at the tip of the spear for that and um and, and it is looking like we're going to have a um you know a, a really good first year i'm not saying we don't have things to clean up um but if we just do the simple things right answer the phone when you call show up when you ask and complete the work and it's important to note even if you book us for eight hours and we're only there for two you're only charged for two so you're, you're never um you're, you're never locked in uh, we're a time and materials company so if we spend 15 minutes at your house fixing a dryer that's what you're charged for well that's that's almost exactly what they'll be doing next go around <laughs> so. <laughs> no that's great and we had some people pop on mike anderson good morning Laura, Lonnie, um, good to have you. She loves the Uber of home improvement and the fact that you show up at a scheduled time. I can't even tell you how prompt your, your people were. Megan had texted me on the way. I could see on the app. They were there right on time. They're just terrific. So, um, well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing about your work and, uh, and all the great things you're doing. And congratulations to both of you on your success. Um, Nadine, also, Laura had mentioned um, she loves Godwinks. What is that? Uh, so Godwinks is a nonprofit organization that I founded back in 2015. Um, it's also photography based. I work with families that are facing uh, terminal or life-threatening diagnoses, and I offer the families uh, family, uh, family portrait photography at no charge to them. So I do fundraise periodically throughout the year. Uh, I, everything is charitably funded. And uh, so I have official affiliations with the Kaleida Health System, Catholic Health System, Hospice Buffalo, um, Essential Care, Compassionate. Um, and I work with anyone at any age, babies of any gestation, and I offer the opportunity for family portrait photography. Oh, that's wonderful. You both are so, um, so big and good at, at giving back. Um, Stephen, I know, or at least I remember early on, if I remember correctly, you were specifically looking for vets and disabled people to help support as employees as well, right? Yes, and there's, uh, it's not only the right thing to do, but it's, if you can be patient and it, it obviously take some time to um, mold and grow those employees a little longer than the typical ones. But then again, some of them are just, we're completely autonomous from day one. So, uh, but there, it's not only the right thing to do, it's also um, 
there's there's tax credits for things for doing for I, I like it when you're incentivized to do the hard thing which is you know uh, be deliberate about your hiring making sure and now I'm I'm pleased to say our workforce we're not majority minority but we're about 45 percent uh, persons of color uh, in, in our staff. So, and I, I would like that to stay up there. Uh, we also have uh, folks from the uh, vocational rehabilitation program through the state. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to take an ide ideological stance that uh, folks who are differently abled are more than capable of working in a startup, not just a clerical role. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, really appreciate that for, for both of you. And um, Nadine, if you could also send me the link for Godwinks as well, I'll, I'll post that. I'd love to share everything you guys are doing. It's wonderful to come across business owners who really um, embrace the whole giving back um, perspective and helping others who, who struggle. So I love sure. that. Yeah, I can, I can email you the um, contact information for Godwinks. And um, if I can just um, put a little plug out there as well, I do have my uh, spring fund drive is coming up soon um, and that's being pushed on Facebook. So I'll add the Facebook link with my information that I send. Um, if you can, you know, I'm sure you're gonna add that information um, to the post. And uh, if anyone is interested in, um, uh, participating in one way or another. Um, I am accepting donations for a basket raffle, and I'm also going to be looking for people to participate in the online auction. So um, it's a lot of fun. What I've done is I've set it up to be um, a three-day online silent auction on Facebook, and uh, each basket or item has a photo, um, a number, a description, and a reserve bid amount. And uh, it's a lot of fun competing with other people on outbidding each other. And um, what happens then is the top bid when the bidding closes is the amount of the donation that that person would make towards Godwinks. Oh, and I love it. Distribute all of the winnings to um, all of the people. Well, you just got a basket. Jackie Leonard <laughs> Vitagliano of Rove has uh, said she donate a basket. Thank and, you, Jackie. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And NJ was on here saying, uh, we know NJ Oliveri, she's very involved with our groups at Ace Handyman Services are the best, love their people. They are so professional. Uh, nice to see what you do, Nadine. Um, I could not agree with you more, NJ. Uh, Jackie's also interested in Godwings and Ace Handyman. So fabulous. <laughs> A lot of great connections. And again, this video will be out there and, and we'll add the contact information. I'm so happy that you guys could, you both could, could join me this morning. Um, I'm just going to take a few more minutes just to talk about events and the wheel, but I just want to invite you if you'd like to stay, you're welcome to, but if you also want to pop off, that's fine. All right. Thanks, so, Thanks Johnny. This was wonderful. I uh, really appreciate having you both here. And I just want to say we, we've, um, as we continue to do pro bono work in the community, we're going to highlight in videos the actual organization uh, so that people can, uh, each time we go to a, um, a place like Open Buffalo, yeah. um, Peace Prince, uh, Saving Grace Ministries, we're going to uh, tie that into, you know, crowd fundraising uh, for those for 5013Cs. So um, there are a lot of great organizations uh, doing great work, but they don't necessarily have the, 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 the capital to pay us uh, for renovations. It uh, doesn't matter to us. Uh, we view that as our obligation and pay our employees four hours of volunteerism a, a, a month. So um, uh, looking forward to that and keep an eye out for those uh, 5013Cs that we highlight. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. All right, so just a little bit about our GROW events. Um, actually, today we've got two, two big ones, actually three, including you guys. It's a big GROW day today. Um, at four o'clock, we have Steve Dorner of Thrive coming to do a workshop on Google Business Profile, the Google My Business, which I can't believe how much that's changed. He, he's been a big help to me um, and how, how it really has become another social media platform almost. Um, really, really um, some great tips on how to organically grow your following without having to put out a lot of money. There are a lot of ways to raise um, awareness on Google um, through the business profile. So we'll be learning that at four o'clock. Uh, go to our um, 
uh, growbuffalo.org website and you, under events, you can sign up still for that. And then this evening, uh, Rotary of Buffalo has invited us to join them for a happy hour at Sportsman's Tavern for some food, drinks, and live music. So that'll be fun. And uh, let's see, Monday, we have, we always have our Monday kickoff, our networking event, which is a great way to meet other members of the group. And we, we, at once a month now, we're doing speed networking, which is a lot of fun. Mike Anderson gets his music playing. Uh, we go into groups of just one-to-one -one breakout rooms for a short period of time. It's kind of like speed dating, get to know each other really fast and, and then follow up later, you know, get, develop that relationship outside of um, the group to help support each other in, in our business. Businesses. So that's a lot of fun. We have our March book club next Tuesday, The High Five Habit by Mel Robbins. I loved it. Eric hated it. So it's going to be a really fun discussion. <laughs> um, I think we'll have a big group there, though. It looks like a lot of people were reading that book, but there's still time. The audio is only six hours to listen to. Uh, and then on March 14th, we go back to in-person on our Monday networking events. We'll have Catherine Dolan of uh, Damon College coming to speak with us about entrepreneurialism and just another great networking event at Bengal Grill. So those are the, the immediate upcoming events that we have. And then I'm just going to go to our wheel. Yeah. Make sure I've got this right. And we will pick our members to be spotlighted. Is it spotlighted or spotlit? <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll be doing that next week. Can you all, can you see this? Yes. Shuffle it up a little bit. All right. First person. Fabulous, Diana Caval. Uh, Diana has helped us. She's an attorney with um, some, I think she did a workshop a while back, some great topics for small business owners. So it'll be terrific to have her on. Carrie Lembrecht will be reaching out to you for the spotlight. And our third person is... Laura, you were so close on that last one. <laughs> we have Kelly Newton. So got a, another good group that will be coming to share with us about their businesses, hopefully next week. And... Um, the only other thing I just wanted to mention is we do these spotlights for our Grow Premium members. So if you're watching this in the Facebook group and you're not a premium member, I really encourage you to join up. It's, it's a very low uh, investment. It's $120 for the year and you get free access to all of our virtual events uh, and a whole the whole library. We probably have 250 videos of different topics to help small business owners that premium members have access to, uh, low cost. Um, attendance at the in-person event, if not free. Um, and then we also, um, and I just drew a blank on what I was saying there. Anyway, it's just fabulous to be a premium member. You get all kinds of great, oh, first chance at vendor events. That's it, to get your table out there and present the work that you do. Um, that's, that's about it. So thank you again, Nadine and Stephen, for being on here with me. It was a pleasure talking about your work. As I mentioned, I'll, I'll post your contact information and look forward to seeing you in some of our other events. Pleasure being here. Thanks again, Connie. Thank you. All right, take care. Thank <laughs> you.